all of this is in an effort to give back to girls who are in college like I used to be and who don't have enough. I'm always emotional because I usually take clothes when they were babies from church. It's nice to meet you nice again. You again. Oh, I'm so glad that you came. Two, three. If you're watching this, I hope this inspires you to do something kind. Hey guys, it's Ogby. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, welcome and make sure to subscribe. We do fashion town hauls, travel vlogs, and weekly vlogs, so we make sure to keep it fun. So if that's your vibe, make sure to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel and join the family. So today's vlog is very, very different from our usual because we have something very, very fun and exciting that I've been wanting to do for a while. Today's vlog is going to feature my first ever clothing donation drive, and I'm very, very excited. We will get into more details about that tomorrow when the drive actually happens but today is Saturday and today is gonna be the prep day so this weekend also my mom and my sister are both in town so they will be helping me out a little bit I am planning on moving to LA and my mom has never seen my ATL apartment yet so she decided to come for the weekend like just to see it, and it perfectly aligned with my drive so she'll be here to see that too and then my sister she's been here like twice before but she just tagged along so I'm gonna go ahead and try and sort out the den all my clothes for the drive have already been like put aside but now I want to go through and put everything in tops bottoms dresses and we're gonna be taking it to the church today and yeah so that's why I look like this right now I look like a little peanut so I'm in my like work clothes like let's just ignore my appearance and stuff because I have to get started on this so I am showing you guys an overview of what my den area looks like I'm gonna actually take these boxes to the recycling first so that I can have my wagon empty to load stuff up because we will be loading up my car today. The church that I am partnering with is the college ministry at the Believer's House which is Crossroads Church and I will tell you guys kind of how like that came about tomorrow when we're starting but I really want to get this done. It's like 11 30 maybe and we have to go to the church at 12 30 so let's go ahead and get this mess behind me figured out and i need to take some before and after pictures because like this den once the drive is over is going to be so clear and i'm so excited to have like this finally empty like i have been holding on to these clothes for like a year now because i wanted to do to do something special but i'll explain it to you guys tomorrow but let's hurry up and take care of this mess right here Um, the shoes my sister took those to the car and one bin of clothes I'm gonna do the second bin and then sort through the accessories and the beauty products But I'm not gonna like show all that because I need to start moving faster So I will see you guys when we're all finished loading up the car and ready to go to the church All right, we're in the garage right now half the stuff is loaded up and my mom and sister are helping me I'm gonna be bringing this clothing rack. We're gonna try and fit this in the car the best way possible yeah. But you can take this apart if you take this apart, it will be good just record. Which? Which, yeah, which, which side? 
Yeah, you can hold it like, like this. Reg yeah, like a phone. But what about like this? No, no. that's gonna be on you, mom. You have to look like at the camera and look at us. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. She knows that I have to say something because I'm not used to just holding the camera like that and don't talk. But we taking the stuff to the local church here in Atlanta for a donation drive tomorrow, Sunday, January. 28 2024 uh this girl this lady she's so special she's trying to give back to the society god has blessed her through the society and she is giving it back to the society what a blessing that you give back to the people who help you to be what you are today i'm really proud of her for doing what she's doing there are really some good stuff in there really really good stuff that the girl's gonna be happy having them if i'm the mom i'll be here tomorrow to help her to thank you God for the journey messes to bring us out here to help and I uh, hope you guys enjoy so proud so proud of what you're doing God gives you and you give back to your family your neighbors your friends God will bless you more Completed that. okay the shopper is in there all right you can hop in thank you you're welcome put me in a little bit now <laughs> Yeah, I was a camera lady. <laughs> camera lady, thank you. <laughs> you enjoy. Oh my god. The car is all packed up and ready to go, guys. We have some bins back here. My, my sister over here. <laughs> and then my mom is in the front. Um, yeah, we're literally all parked, packed in the Can car. Can you see me? No, literally. See my seat Packed in the car like sardines. Um, I'm at a stoplight right now, so don't worry. But we're discussing plans oh, for the night. When my mom was like, oh, if we go out late, we won't be able to wake up for church. Church is at 11. I want to get to the church at 10 a.m. I need to figure out if mashup is going to be tomorrow, Sunday, or not. Because I really want my mom to like a bar-ish kind of place, like a lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've been like in all her life living in the state, she's probably never been to one. It's best to go with your daughters than not to. But I'm about to put my uh, camera away because it's raining. So I will talk to you guys when we get to the church. This is a nice space. Some of this stuff still has the tag on it. This is a dress from Revolve. I'm trying to, if you think around the shop. Yeah, because it's just like a little bit too long. Mommy, say hi to the vlog. Hi. My mom is working, <laughs> working on sorting through all the, like the beauty stuff that we have for the girls. So everything has just been in bags. So she's like sorting it. Yeah, this is what we're working with. Everything is. Very proud of doing that. So this is all the stuff we're sorting through. Um, my sister is working on the shoes right now, hanging those up, and then like I'm hanging up the dresses, and we are on TikTok Live right now. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and put tissue paper down right here because I'm gonna be putting clothing here, and this is black, and I don't want it to is stain. It okay, Papa,
setting up most of the stuff. My sister is doing an inventory check and counting the number of clothing items because we have 36 girls coming and I wanna figure out a way to tell each person how many items in each category they can pick out. So there'll be clothing, there's beauty products, there's shoes, there's bags, and you can only pick out a certain number per category. So I have to have her write that down and then figure that out tonight. Thank you guys for everything. Yeah. You're welcome. Accessories. Yeah. Accessories. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. Should I count lashes? Yeah. yeah. Makeup. Okay. All right, so we're all finished and we're about to clear out, but let me give you guys a quick rundown today. So over here we have dresses. These are size US 0, that's US 2. And then over here is going to be the beauty counter. My sister helped me set this up. So this is like extra PR that I've gotten and beauty products. I've had a ton more, but I gave back to like my friends and family um, <coughs> prior to. So this is the kind of stuff we have left. I made sure to keep this like box because I knew I wanted to repurpose it because it just adds a bit more like decor like to the space like this. Um, I almost said model, but I'm pretty sure she's an influencer. But so all the lashes are here. My sister put lash glue underneath. I feel like this is perfect right here. And then we have a bunch of like press on nails right here. Um, you guys will probably see this better. My cameraman will probably get like some footage of this. But then we have like a little makeup, makeup counter right here. Um, eyeglass basket, some pairs of sunglasses, and these are high end. These are Dior's brand Lorbe. But these are like the more shades that are like not the kind of like shades that I would wear like on an everyday basis. We have some hair product, more beauty right here. This is the <laughs> swimwear rack right here. And so, like I said, everything has been washed, but like just triple double checking. We have pants. Then we have some tops, some more pants, some more tops and pants. And then these are tops that are hung up right here. A few jackets, some rompers. And then these are like sweats and pants. I might like check my closet to make sure I don't have like more stuff to bring. But the shoe rack I feel like is my favorite place. Like this just looks so cute. She did such a good job with this. My tasker when she came to my house and hung my shoes up like this actually taught me like this was like a nice way to display shoes so like that's where i got the idea from and then we have all the bags underneath and then tomorrow we will set this up this will be the checkout counter right here and my friends will be helping to check people out and then oh yeah this is like the rack that has like a bunch of two pieces on it and then um i have a dress two dresses right here that i'm gonna raffle off so that is the setup and yeah everything is ready so that is the setup everything is ready and we're about to get out of the church because the minister and then um the other volunteers are here and they need to lock up so. all right guys so we are back at the house now don't mind all the stuff in the back it's air mattress all this stuff anyway so it's like 6 30 right now i don't know if i told you guys this earlier but gian my trainer she is having like a dinner appreciation for her ambassador girls for um pretty fit academy which i'm a part of she's just gotten like a lot of clientele because of this but like that's why I just had to get ready and I wasn't even gonna look this good. This was an accident I wasn't even gonna do my makeup. I was just gonna throw on this hat My mom was like just do a little something so I did the lightest beat But like the light beats actually end up being so cute and I threw this fit together so fast But I actually like this so much. I felt like I looked bald, but It's actually kind of cute. I feel like there's like a lot of light right now. I don't know if you guys can really like see obviously like my mom and sister cannot come to that so i'm dropping them off to go get pedicures while i do that for like an hour and i need to stop at um home goods and get like a journal because i had oh my sister had the idea of like the girls like writing their names all on a poster and writing me a message so i was like i might want to put it in a journal so that way i can keep it easier than like a big poster yeah this is the look oh my gosh it's alpha deets the hat is from amazon actually i bought it for my london trip the top is from revolve the brand lovers and friends I think the jeans they look like PLT or white fox. They are white fox. I should have known by like the bum rip in the back. They fit me really well. What size is this? Extra small. Okay, so the oh jeans, the the jeans are an extra small. And then my heels are from I think these are from Naked Fashion or ASOS if I'm not mistaken. But they're in my collective haul. The rings are from my friend's band. Well, this ring is from Bag It Up. This ring is from Pretty Little Thing. Pretty Little Thing. I do not remember where I got this. Netflix for this neck I don't remember where I got this Netflix ne necklace from and then these earrings I'm pretty sure are from PLT these okay I'll see you guys when we get to dinner they're talking about they should have came here earlier so they could visit me for a week <laughs> one week is too much 
No, thank you. One week is too much. It's not. It's cute. I love flowers. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My sister found some cardstock for the girls, so I'm about to go ahead. Oh, this one says, thank you. I'm about to go ahead, drop them off at the nail salon, and then head over to the restaurant. So I'll see you guys when we get to the restaurant. So we are back home now. I just went and got my mom and sister. So at the dinner and stuff, um, I was telling my friends about like the donation drive that I'm having in. But um, I just didn't want to organize a super big clothing drive because I needed to get my stuff out. That was the main concern. And I know if I coordinate with other people, I'll be bringing more stuff in because I would be the like home base for it, sort of. And then before we give it to the church and stuff. So um, this was on a smaller scale because like I'm also trying to like move out and all this other stuff. So so um, yeah. Yeah, that's a little update and then my friend Taja she's also gonna bring some shoes as well and she's like a size eight and a half nine and I think Aaliyah said she's eight or nine oh, tomorrow is the big day um I don't know if I'm gonna step out tonight I'm not sure like to go see one of my friends problem. I came to bring them back home and maybe watch something with them because it is only like 8 30 I don't know y'all I'm gonna update you guys on whatever happens tonight um in the morning but i'm super excited for my first donation drive i just have to not worry about it because it's like the girls are i know they're gonna find something that they like i just want at least everyone to find something that they like and so i just got to give it up to god because obviously like honestly like the clothes are free so i don't think really there should be any disappointment anywhere because it's not like you're paying for anything so i should just cast my worries aside and give it all to christ cast my worries aside Give it all a crap. So anyways, okay, good night. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hugs and kisses. Good night. Hi guys, good morning. We made it to the church. It's a really hectic morning, so I can't really say too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass the camera skills over to Tommy 4K. He's over in the back. Tommy, come closer, please. He's getting some professional footage for us, so we're gonna go ahead and transition over to that and let you guys watch and see how the clothing drive is gonna go. I'm super excited, and yeah. Let's go ahead and roll the tapes in three, two, one. <laughs> My name is Angui Tacho and I am here at the Believer's House. I'm partnering with the college ministry here to bring you guys my first ever clothing donation drive. Today we're going to be hosting 36 girls and letting them pick out a bunch of free clothing and beauty products in an effort to give back and spread kindness. Okay, so now we're in the room where the donation drive is going to be held and I'm going to give you guys a little tour of all the goodies that we have for the girls. So over here on this rack, we have some of my favorite dresses and jumpsuits. So these are like marked according to size. So we're gonna have them start here first. So this is the beauty and PR table. So this is all beauty and PR product that I've been gifted by brands. So I've put all, I put a bunch of it on display here and they can just like choose from this. And like I said, everything is free. They're not paying for everything. All of this is in an effort to give back to girls who are in college like me, well, like I used to be and who don't have enough and need some things. So we have swimsuits here, more clothing and tops right here. And then we move on to this rack and there are tops here, jackets, jumpsuits, and then we have pants here. And my personal favorite over here, we have the heels and shoe collection. 
Everything here um, is a size six and seven, that's me. I'm hoping um, as the years go by, I can do this on a bigger scale and provide more sizes for the girls because obviously I'm one person, but this is what we're working with so far. And then also I forgot we have some stuff for raffle. I'll be raffling off two dresses and a ring light for the girls as well. So that's everything that we're gonna be giving away today. So over here is the checkout counter. I really wanted to make this a real life shopping experience for the girls. So I purchased some pink shopping bags on Amazon and some pink tissue paper. So this is gonna be where they're come, bring their items, and then my friends will help bag it up, package it, so they have like a cute little goodie bag to take home. All right, so over here we have my little helpers, which are my friends. So my friend Taja, I'm gonna put her face up on the screen. She actually donated another bag of clothes and shoes. So they're helping me sort it and like put it into what we already have. So this is my friend Esther <laughs> and this is my friend Adriel and then this is my sister Aqui and they're all helping me out right now. I don't know what I just said. They're all helping me out right now. <laughs> I'm a 26 year old fashion lifestyle and beauty creator and I'm basically here today just to give back to the college girls in the Atlanta area. Um, I've been wanting to put this clothing drive on for a while now, over a year. I just didn't want to donate my clothes to Goodwill and have them sell them. I wanted to give them out for free and like have them go to the right hand. So that's why I'm here today. And I'm gonna do like a little like marketing um, creator like chat, but I'm gonna make it a Q&A focus so you guys can actually ask me questions. That's why I'm, that way I'm giving you information that you would want to know. Sustaining factor, like if I don't work, I'm not making any money to support myself, but also just knowing that what I'm doing is helping people. So, but as far as like tips for consistency, I would just say make a schedule, make a plan and stick to that. And, but give yourself, I would say markers to hit in order to reach your goals. Like church and she actually has a group that's part of the college ministry. They bring girls together and I was like, okay, let's do it. So. That's why. Yeah. It's part of it. Come again. It's Samaya. I met you at Samaya. Wait, that was you. Yes. Did it, didn't you see my story yes. about you? Didn't you didn't say anything? Wait, what did you? No, say? I posted like because I couldn't find your Instagram. I posted the girl who met me at the eyebrow place, like wax thread and scissors, because you were supposed to come to my house and pick out some stuff because you were my size. Yes, nice to meet you again. Oh, I'm so glad that you came. Wait, is, is that your, your house? Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. Okay, I'll stay so good. Yes, yes, please stay. Where do you go to um, school? Okay, so did you like see um, the sign up on my story or did someone send it to you? No, no, I seen it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's so good. Did she find some stuff too? Everybody smile. 
Uh, show your best pose. Wait, yeah. One, two, three. Baloney. Jesus. I haven't been to church in yeah. a few years or months, and my mom was waiting on that, so it was also a nice, beautiful thing. I was about to say how intentional it was to be able to give mm. back to a church like yeah, that connects yeah. a lot of people from college. So. Mm. And, yeah, and to me, it's like when they were babies, I took them to church to take. When I always try to talk about this, mm. I'm always emotional because I usually take clothes when they were babies from church that people donated, you mm. know. And when they were kids, I bonded them all the time to go to church as much as I can, whenever I want to. But when they become teenagers, it was hard for me to get them back to church. So when I see them actually going to save, give back to the society in church, and coming back to church, and they, the one who bonded me now to church, it's a blessing. So that really makes me feel so happy. Best time in life is when you see that your kids are going back to God to save God because when you save God, you have it all. You can never go wrong saving God. That's how I know it. Amen. 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 And that's a perfect way to end it. Okay. <laughs> yes, it was nice meeting you. It was you nice guys. meeting you. Will you say your name okay, um, um, for, and then like also like your major and like what you're doing? Yes. Hi, I'm Mira. I'm a political science major at Spelman College and I came today and I'm very happy that <laughs> I get to write about Angui, so I'm super excited. So, yes. She's amazing. All the girls were so amazing. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So we just got back home. Don't mind the stuff in the back. Like we just literally put everything down. I'm gonna go back and put all the empty hangers away, put the empty rack, put my Depop stuff on that rack and get that set up. But guys, let's just take a moment and do a debrief after my first ever clothing drive. I just wanna first of all say thank you to everyone that helped me today. If you're watching this, I already thanked everyone of course then, but like I couldn't have done this by myself. I wanna give a huge, huge, huge thank you to Jose because she was watching my Instagram stories about how I was saying like, I don't know what to do with these clothes. And I don't know how many times I've posted on Instagram. I don't know how to set up my clothing drive, but I wanna set it up. I've been saying that for a year and I've been posting it like almost every other month. And she commented that she belongs to this church and they have like a college ministry. And I was like, yes. And I connected it with her and then we emailed, we set up a Zoom Zoom meeting and that is how all this came about like and I just really thank God that like this is how it happened because they did so much of the administrative things so they already had like an email list for their college students they have shuttles that go to the different universities I think it was Spelman, Clark Atlanta, Georgia State, Mommy! <laughs> So they have different, they have a shuttle to a different university. So it's like now the girls get offered rides. They um, created the Google form for me. They created the flyers. They, I have all these ideas that I know like things that I want to say, like we were both spinning like ideas back and forth. Oh, like, and they, the fact that they were like, okay, students need to bring their student ID, which is something that I wouldn't have personally thought about. So it's just like, so great like partnering with someone versus like doing it on my own and like having the flyers ready. And I just like had, add the link and like post it on my story as well and i just want to say like today it started off like rough like we were late to the church but it all ended up working out and i feel like that's how it usually goes when things are non-profit because it's not like we're selling anything so it's not like we have to keep track of any money i just was more so worried about like the girls not getting to pick out enough things but everyone actually got to pick out more items like because I think there was like the beauty products that some people picked out. Like I think it was like you guys pick out more beauty products if you weren't picking out clothes. And then I let all the girls that were like fitting my clothes go back and have like rounds. So I know at least 10 of those girls walked away with at least like 10 pieces of clothing um, for the ones that could fit my size, which is really, really great. I just want to thank my friends. Esther and Adriel showed up as well to help out. Like Esther was doing the checkout. Adriel was on the phone, like doing my social media. And like my mom and my sister, they helped we set out beforehand like yesterday was the most crucial day because there's no way we could have set that up this morning at all so 
you guys saw like all of yesterday too i think this vlog is mostly it's like a weekend vlog but it's like mostly about this clothing drive because that's what i've been doing all weekend how did i feel during the drive itself absolutely amazing i, but I just felt like my heart was so cool i was loving meeting all the girls everyone was so nice everyone looked so happy i was just trying to make sure everyone's okay and getting everything that they needed and we took a group picture at the end i'm gonna post it right here but i'm just like so filled with joy i don't know i don't really even have that many words right now like i just like i'm so tired i'm just glad it's over because i've been kind of like stressed about this but like i just have been saying like let me leave it to god after we set up the clothes it's like after that there's not really much we can do and taja i want to thank taja because she dropped off a bag of clothes as well as a bag of shoes this morning so um esther adriel and aqui helped me like disperse that and put that through as well i think you guys saw that on the footage that's what we were working on this morning this is the first of many now that i've done one i know that like the next one should be easier i'm hoping because those ones will also hopefully be bigger because it won't just be me next time how did you feel about today uh today i feel so happy i feel so blessed and I thought like God has not answered all my prayers because for every mom, every parent, the prayer is always like, how are they going to do in the world? Are they going to be able to respect people and give back to the people who has given to them when they were babies? Because when you have your children, it's not you. It takes a village to raise a child. They give to them and now they're giving back to the society. That is such a joy because seeing myself in church with my kids, that they actually took me to their own church that they picked. Was a blessing, and at that church, I met a lot of uh, college students. There, mm -hmm. I was so impressed that young children are going back to church. Because when you save God, you have everything. You never go wrong saving God. So I will encourage, and I thank God for taking them to church and me to church today. I am so happy that they're giving back to the society that. I bless her to be who she is today and she's actually giving back to society. I'm so proud of you and we and I'm begging you to keep giving back to the society and keep respecting people, Amen. keep honoring your elders and people around you no matter where those people come from, whether they're handicaps, whether they how they look like, everybody is a child of and Aqui, I just thank you so much for your help. I'm so proud of you to help your sister. I have always prayed for such moments that you'll be a helper to your sister and you guys work hand in hand and i'm angry i'm so proud of you thank you thank you for your commentary do you have any thoughts on the clothing and i just want to say also i'm very proud of my sister it was a blessing to even be there to get to see her um actually be able to get back and interact with her supporters as well and me interact with her supporters because i love anybody who loves my sister as well so everybody was really nice it was just you know, like she said, heart filling just to see everybody like come in, enjoy the stuff that they were getting and just being able to pick out whatever was their style and just still have extra to go to a whole nother donation sister church or something like that. But it was definitely a beautiful thing. I hope my sister has many more to come, which I know is coming. I'm very proud and I want to say again that her name, she lives her, she is her name basically. A blessing amen and i love you yeah so those are their closing thoughts and i do want to say like my <laughs> mom was saying it was like a full circle moment because when she said that it did remind me of like when we were growing up we went to this church called like vineyard and they would always like let you come in and like pick out clothes i think it really is full circle that like my first clothing drive happened to be at a church and i wasn't even like thinking of it that way it just like happened to be that way so that is like really full circle and i did really want to reach girls that needed clothes that like felt like yes my parents have money and stuff but the last thing that they can spend money on is like nicer clothes for me because we're worried about school we're worried about food we have a lot of siblings like all that kind of stuff so it's like about for me like giving back to like girls like that i hope i can keep doing that i mean i will still keep doing that with my own clothes but i hope i can bring in like a bunch of my friends to help me do so um no matter where i am living i will be doing that so if you guys have ways for me to be more philanthropic philanthropy is a huge goal of mine so like hopefully in the future i'll be able to like partner with brands mm -hmm. more brands too but i have more things coming more speaking engagements coming so if you are a supporter of my youtube channel make sure you're still subscribed and make sure you're following me on my other social platforms if you're not subscribed what are you doing subscribe to my channel 
Follow me on my Instagram, follow me on my TikTok and everything. Oh, oh I am true. supposed to say that the location. church, the church is moving. So the Believer House is moving to center stage. This one I've already been said. The address <laughs> is gonna be 1374 West Peachtree Street Northwest. So the church is moving to a bigger place because they don't have enough space and which is actually a blessing. So now they need a bigger space. So they're moving to center stage and they'll be um, there at 11 a.m. starting February 4th. Um, I was gonna read like a few of my messages. So we had a little journal. Um, my sister came up with the idea like earlier, like that they should have a poster to sign. And I was like, maybe a journal so that I can like keep it. And a few of the girls wrote some stuff. I really do love how you gave quality clothes to us college students. We need them. That's Isaiah, he goes to Morehouse. Oh, I like how they put what school they went to. Oh, that's nice. Um, I to make sure you say your name. So I think this says from. Trinity Davis. She said, thank you so much for taking the time to come and give back to college students we love your content she goes to spellman on we loved your content and been a supporter since you were oh oh gee ohio days so happy to see you for mm -hmm. atl thanks for all you do for hosting at the believers house abrisha hi thank you so much for the shades and wonderful energy love to see what the future holds for you in the content creator world oh my goodness and this is from samaya hey angui it's samaya again the one you met at the eyebrow place just want to say thank you so much for your i started my <laughs> own channel because of you my channel at the real maya b i will post that mm -hmm. i might as well read the rest there's only two hi angui i love watching all of your videos you're such a bright light in this world never stop being you it feels so good having representation of young black women i love you and it was so nice meeting you thank you again for this clothing drive may god bless you abundantly Jaquise. I think that's how you say her name. Oh, actually, there's more than that. Hey, this is Shayla. I just want to say thank you so much for leading us young black girls to. Oh, teaching. Teaching us young black girls to create content and to be so positive, I think. You have inspired me to create my own content, and I just want to thank you. Thank you for coming. I really need a Sunday like this. You're so beautiful. That's someone from Spillman. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Ava. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for this experience. I had so much fun. I'm grateful for your kindness towards us girls. We look up to you. Love your content. Your sister slays. I thank <laughs> you. And, oh, and Remember you're beautiful. Thank you so much, Ava. I remember her voice. She has such a beautiful voice. Which one was that? She was in the green and she has braids. The last one says, hey girl, thank you so much for thinking about us college girls. I love the whole experience and I'm interested to see what you will do. God bless. I did tell you. Oh, that was Taya. She was one of the Nigerian girls. So yeah, I'm thinking whenever I do something like this, I will just keep this journal and have people write things in it. We are closing the chapter on today's donation drive. Um, I just think it's so cute how I um, met some... Samaya, Samaya, no, Samaya. There was this girl named Samaya that I had met at the eyebrow shop before I went to Los Angeles. So I was getting my brows done. She saw me and she said she watches my channel. She was so excited. So I told her to DM me and I would have her come pick out clothes. This was before I even scheduled the drive. So she was gonna come here. So when she said she met me already and she was like eyebrow place, I almost screamed because I had posted a story when I came back in January. So I met her in December. When I came back in January, I posted a story about like, if you're the girl that I met at the eyebrow place, please DM me, I can't find your DM. And she never got back to me and I was telling her, I had actually like wrote a story about you so it's just like full circle that she was able to be at this event like which is so crazy like i wasn't even expecting that it was just like so perfect so i literally gave her my number and stuff so in case i have anything extra when i'm moving i'm just gonna call her and give it to her because she like she was like really small and petite like me as well so like those clothes will go to good use as we close this journal we are closing and wrapping up today's clothing drive thank you guys so much i love you all so much if you're watching this i hope this inspires you to do something kind and it doesn't have to be like on a grand scale small gestures um yeah i just loved everything about this day i made flyers earlier well i made flyers last night but they were printed out and they were so cute i did like a meet the sponsor thing and then like the flyer for like my drive these are so cute and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and eat chill be on my phone probably watch it like african movie and yeah that's what's gonna happen but i'll see you guys tomorrow bye love you guys all right guys it is 10 18 p.m right now and we are headed to pasha um it's their last night here so like i'm tired 
but I was like they need to at least do something else so that's where we're heading to right now uh, I think I was telling you guys on Saturday when we were going to set up the church that I had wanted to take my mom to like a bar slash lounge place because I feel like she hasn't been to one but Rocksteady isn't having mashup this um, Sunday. They only do it on the first and third Sunday, so they had it last weekend. So they are not having it this weekend. Otherwise, I would have taken them there. Oh my gosh, someone's car came off. Um, yeah, so like I said, we're going to Pasha, but maybe depending on how tired my mom is, we might swing by Rocksteady because I'm sure mm -hmm. they still have a DJ. It's just not like I'm not familiar with, with how it is on a Sunday if it's not like the events that I go to. So. <laughs> if it's not the events that I go to So I'll see you guys When we get to Pasha And we'll check out the vibe So talk to you guys later <laughs> Okay thank you Mommy were you recording? Yeah <laughs> she's holding it okay, Do you want to say it. something mommy? Yeah I just want to say that it's a no no I'm not probably going to a nightclub or whatever <laughs> Where is Pasha going well. now? I don't know <laughs> I'm going to eat and eat food. I'm not going to a nightclub Because I already danced it's all day it's, it's not a nightclub I mean, Okay it's, it's a lounge. Well, it's like a lounge, but it's like it's not. You can't smoke up there. Oh, yeah. They only have like drinks, and it's like a lounge. Like they have seats and stuff. There, like, there is dancing, but it's not crazy like a club. Oh, it's okay. Not a club. Okay, that, that sounds like, good. But nobody's gonna drink anyway, cause I'll be there. <laughs> I'm the supervisor, so cause you're driving, so you cannot drink. I remember I'm yeah. not drinking I? anymore. I stopped. <laughs> al remember I stopped That's alcohol. Okay, That's good. Dude. That's That's good. good. If you drink. That's good. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> Responsibly. Yeah, because you want to stay healthy. I need, like to I need to come back yeah, and I'm trying to wait till I secure my whole move to LA before I will allow myself to drink anything. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so you said. Yeah. Okay.